Hi, today I want to share with you the benchmark results for comparison of two most popular PHP frameworks, Laravel and Symfony. I will test them in different scenarios to see how they will perform in various use cases. For this test, I deployed both technologies using the most common way to deploy PHP applications, using Nginx and PHP FPM. Whether you are considering using one of these frameworks for new project or just curious about how they stack up, this video will give you insights to help you make an informed choice. I performed three separate tests to compare these technologies across different scenarios, aiming to understand how each performs in varied use cases. The first scenario is a basic test, an API road that returns a hard-coded response. The second scenario is closer to a real-world application, where an API road retrieves a random selection of 30 elements from a PostgreSQL database. The third scenario is an API road that generates GVT token. Now let's take a look into the code for our test cases in both applications. Here is the code for Laravel app. For such a simple set of benchmarks, without very complex logic, I decided to go with the code written in road files. First case, second case, third case. Here is the code for Symphony app. I have put all the test cases in a single controller. First case, second case, third case. Now let's take a look into the database structure. I created pretty standard user table with fields like ID, name, email, password, some additional info and timestamps for records. Table has two indexes, ID as a primary key and unique index for email field. To test both applications simultaneously, I deployed them on the cloud using DigitalOcean, which offers a reasonable pricing model and all the necessary features for this setup. Each application server runs on the smallest available instance with one CPU and 512 megabytes of RAM, allowing us to see how much performance we can achieve with minimal resources. For the database server, I used a larger instance to ensure that its performance wouldn't become a bottleneck during testing. I used Prometheus and Grafana on my local machine to monitor and visualize the performance metrics. Let's finally begin with our first test. Right from the start, we can see that Laravel's latency is significantly higher than the Symfony one. And now Laravel starts to give up first. Now let's wait and see what is the limit for Symfony. And now Symfony starts to fail some of the requests. And now it finally starts to give up. This test is over, let's review the results. Requests per second chart. This metric is more than two times better for Symfony. CPU load. During the whole test, the Laravel application had much higher CPU load metric value. Memory usage. At the start, Laravel had less memory usage, but at some point this value significantly increased for Laravel and remained higher throughout the whole test. Average latency. This metric was better for Symfony throughout the whole test. P99 latency. This metric was better for Symfony throughout the whole test. Let's check out aggregated metrics. All of them are better for Symfony. Now let's proceed to our second test case with database select logic added to the API road. Right from the start, we can see that Laravel's latency is significantly higher than the Symfony one. Let's wait and see how much load these applications can handle. And both applications start to give up right at the same time. This test is over, let's review the results. Requests per second chart. This metric is better for Symfony, but the difference is not so significant for this test case. CPU load. This metric had almost the same value for both applications, with a slight difference in favor of Symfony. Memory usage. Surprisingly, Laravel outperformed 
symphony in this metric. Average latency P99 latency. Let's check out the aggregated metrics. All of them except the memory. Now let's proceed to our third test case with JSON web token generation and parsing added to the API road. Right from the start, we can see that Laravel's latency is significantly higher than the Symfony one. Let's wait and see how much load these applications can handle. And now Laravel starts to give up first. And now Symfony starts to fail some of the requests. This test is over, let's review the results. Requests per second chart. This metric is more than two times better for Symfony. CPU load. During the whole test, the Laravel application had much higher CPU load metric value. Memory usage. Surprisingly, Laravel outperformed Symfony in this metric. Average latency. This metric was better for Symfony throughout the whole test. P99 latency. This metric was better for Symfony throughout the whole test. Let's check out aggregated metrics. In the end, the results reveal a clear performance winner across all tests. Symfony framework. If API performance is your top priority and you are working with PHP, Symfony is definitely the way to go for better efficiency. However, if you are not bound to PHP, it's worth exploring more performant technologies. Alternatively, you can optimize PHP performance by using solutions like Roadrunner, Swool, or FrankenPHP. For a deeper dive, check out how Laravel performs with Octane Roadrunner deployment compared to the Node.js framework Adonis.js in the video linked in the hint. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with others. Let me know in the comments which framework do you prefer and if there are other benchmarks you would like to see. Also feel free to check out my Patreon and other resources linked below to support the channel. Stay tuned for more insights on development and architecture.